Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play... We're on Silent. Silent Ascension level 17. Normal enemies have more challenging movesets and abilities. Last time we had a Shiv deck. This time around we will have a... You know... We could just take a random rare relic for 99 gold. That's pretty good. And Prayer Wheel is not that bad. It's actually not that bad at all. It does incentivize, I think, three elites. Can we do three elites? It's either three elites there or three elites here. We'll go for it. Um, it does incentivize that one energy relic that reduces your card options, Busted Crown. It incentivizes taking whatever we need to take, whatever the good cards are. It, it'll give us, in theory, more rare cards to choose from. It's not what you want to find late in the run, but early, early in the run, you know, maybe it's exactly what we need. Like, let's, let's consider our options. I think a free slice and a sucker punch is what we want. It's not a skill, so if we fight Gremlin Knob, we don't have to worry about him. It's weakness, it's more damage. It's a free attack. Already, I think adding in those two cards has made our deck substantially better. Uh, this time around, I am just going to play three defense so that we can kill him with two of any attack that's not a slice. There we go. Cloak and Dagger, Sucker Punch, Choke, Masterful Stab, Dagger Spray, Poison Stab. I would like both of these. Being unable to take them both, I will take a Dagger Spray. and skip. I don't want to take Cloak and Dagger until we actually defeat the, uh, the Gremlin Knob. I don't think it's in our best interest to do. You have 2 HP. I think even a Neutralize might be able to kill them. Let's do it like this. Yeah, I don't want to take Cloak and Dagger before we fight the Gremlin Knob. I would rather just take, like, a dash or something that's an attack that also gives me block. Now, I think a Deflect is an exception to the rule. Thousand Cuts is interesting, but it's kind of early. I think a Deflect is an exception to the rule because it's free. We're going to want this in the deck later. And then I'm not going to take anything else. I'll take a Blur. <laughs> it's a good card. We're going to want it later. Why not? Just... I can add it in. I don't know. I don't know. By the way, Fat Gremlin is going to make us vulnerable, or not vulnerable, he's going to make us frail and weak. So I think... I just get this guy where I can kill him, and then we'll focus on the Fat Gremlin. Because he has to die. And Fat Gremlin now has to go so that we don't become frail for freaking ever. Actually only taking one this turn, which is not bad. Fat gremlin equals boo. He's such a pain in the... All the gremlins are such a pain in the butt. Aren't they? Wish they weren't in the game. <laughs> they are big assholes. Okay, can we kill you in one turn? No, but we can put up enough block. We can probably kill you next turn. We have to hit him. You know, we don't have anything that uh, does damage over time. Thick deck incoming? It's gonna be thick. I think a skewer is good. I think a, a flechette can be good. But I would prefer to have a flechette with like a uh, runic pyramid or something. Dude, are we gonna survive these elite fights? I'm looking and I'm I'm not sure. We have three elite fights coming up soon. It's insane. If only I had a microwave oven to kill those gremlins. <laughs> a microwave oven? 
The only, the only thing that comes to my mind when you say that is, isn't there a song? Da 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 da, -da microwave oven. Da -da 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 I think it's microwave oven. I don't know. It's probably something else. I don't want them. I will take this. I gotta stop adding in cards. I think 20. We've added in not a. Uh, wow, we've only added in six cards. <laughs> we've added in six good cards. We don't need to add in anything else right now. We can we can wait. We can wait. Two slices is pretty damn good. That's as good as we're gonna get. No, we can get better. Ah, but we're gonna... I'm gonna save this for Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin, even if we die. Although we might just want to rest. Gremlin movie. Oh, I haven't seen that in forever. Which is true. I haven't seen Gremlin movie in forever. Should watch it. It's it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Six HP is the magic number. That's a decent turn. We played. We first of all, we drew five cards we could play, and then we played them all. It's not bad. Progressive damage output is too good. It's not Gremlin Knob, but it is worth playing Bouncing Flask. We do have two weakness potions, which is pretty decent. Uh, I think we just go to town on turn one. We had five energy, so we could play everything we wanted to play. We have weakness if we don't have neutralize. We did draw neutralize, though. And we're just gonna put up as much block as possible try our best to survive until we can draw Bouncing Flask again, and then he should be dead. Dude, Poison is so good in the silent deck. You're still alive. Refrigerator Ovens? Isn't this song called something like Killed the Radio Star? That does sound correct. Courier. Well, I mean, progressive damage output is so good. Let's uh, stand by our words. Okay, we got Sneko. <laughs> Weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Like I'm actually like, oh, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. This is this is a strange one. Take two damage. Sneko Skull Noxious Fumes Bouncing Flasks makes me think we need to bail on our original plan and say, hey, we need to go full poison. Because this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. There's no more elites, we will use this potion. Money for nothing. There you go. I'm okay rolling over block. The, the poison is gonna stack up extremely quickly thanks to Noxious Neko. You're dead. 21 damage. We'd have to do 30 to kill you. So we'll put up as much block as possible and try to get the kill on the middle sentry first. Yeah. I mean, considering the amount of damage he's taking, we only need to hit him with one strike. And then our overflow damage can just go to the uh, other sentry. He's dead anyways, but I should have played it differently. I, I was thinking I could kill him and then play uh, Bouncing Flask, so that all the poison would hit the sentry on the right, but obviously that, obviously that didn't happen, man. Yes. This is weird. It's weird, but good. Dude, honestly, I think Noxious is definitely worth it. Also, Skewer got upgraded somehow. 
I wasn't paying attention, but then I looked over and it's like, hey, why is Skewer upgraded? So Bouncing Flask means he's dead next turn, but we will take three damage. Am, and am I okay with that? No. We need our HP. We can kill him anyways. I mean, he is dead, but we could kill him on the next turn had we drawn Bouncing Flask then. Dodge and roll is pretty nice, but we can add it. We can theoretically add it later thanks to Prayer Wheel. Right now, I just kind of want to rest, upgrade the cards that we have, live, survive, beat the first floor boss, get an energy relic, etc., etc. Yo, Chemical X with Skewer is actually a 10 out of 10. So we will take it. And we'll move on. It's 20 free damage whenever we draw it, but that's that's incredible. You have to take seven damage. And I can't kill you, so we are gonna take seven on this turn. Unfortunate, but we just didn't draw any blocks. I'll take an escape plan. Uh, I don't think we need a Bane. It's a good card, but I'd honestly rather focus on blocks. Dude, we have very few blocks in the deck. Like, I don't want to add in more attacks, is kind of what I meant. Could go for a blur, deflect. We have a couple of things that apply weakness, neutralize, upgrade, maybe. I'm going to smith. And I'm going to make the deflect free. Seven block for zero, we're going to be happy to draw it. And it also means that if we draw it there's a small chance that we can actually play attacks on the same turn with the Deflect. We'll have a little bit of extra energy. Uh, let's hope that we don't die on this turn, though. 12 plus 6, 18 damage, not enough. So, we will barely survive with 11 HP. Put up as much block as possible. <laughs> I mean, you know, Noxious Bouncing Flask. We'll put up as much block as possible and then just hope that the poison will kill him as quickly as possible, and it's getting there. It is getting there. I could play this for 20 damage, but I'm not going to. I don't want to take any damage. He is going to split. Or to flip over on that turn. That's incredible. We're going to take five damage on this turn. Maybe we should have played the Thorns Potion, but all we need to do is live. We're alive. <laughs> because it's not Ascension 19... The Thorns only did three damage, not four. As a result, we didn't die. But, oh lord! That was a close one. We've got, we've got to go Adrenaline for draw. As much as Envenom is nice with poison buildup, we have poison buildup. We don't need to go from 40 to 50 poison by playing five extra attacks. This card's expensive. We need draw, we need energy, we need Adrenaline. Do we need Sneko? No. We only have two expensive cards. Do we need Velvet Choker? I'm going to say yes. Last run taught me that we needed extra energy. We don't play a lot of cards. We can get rid of attacks and focus on poison. I think this will work. Do we go elite fighting? Without Corpse Explosion, no. Ex Naquata raises a good point. Malaise would also be very nice with Chemical X. 
Late shop. Skip all elites. Coward's path? Yeah. Yeah, give me the coward's path. Well, this sucks. We're also gonna become frail. Taking seven damage turn one. <laughs> okay, adrenaline. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm gonna be counting every single turn because I have to. This will do 12 poison damage, bring you up to 23. One. Two, three, four, five. Good, 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 good. Nah. Cloak and Dagger is interesting. It would have been better with a uh, and Venom. I'm just going to take the Deflect for free block. Transform a Strike. Actually, would we prefer to transform a Strike or a Slice? I'd still rather have the Slice. So we get Nightmare. That's really weird. That's very strange. This might be a good Thorns Potion turn, but let's see what we draw. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. It's worth it. This is like the ideal fight to use thorns on. If we're not gonna use it now, we're just asking for trouble. Yeah, another dead. F you in particular, bird. Yeah, that's probably smart. Regen, nice. I will always take escape plans, and I think I'll always also take a deflect. I don't think we need to add in any more deflects after this point, but I wanted that one at least. Why? I don't know. It felt good. I'm playing too many cards of Velvet Choker. You know, if we draw Adrenaline, we should play it and see if we can play Noxious. It doesn't pay for itself, but what else am I going to spend energy on this turn? Slice? One, two, three, four, five. You fucking Sneko. You Sneko piece of shit. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me for a massive amount of damage. I hate you. Deflect plus Velvet Choker is no good. That's a, that's a pretty good point. But I'm not getting any better blocks. It, it's weird. I don't want backflip. Piercing Whales is decent. But, like, there's no leg sweeps, apparently, in this deck. In this game. I need a well laid plans. Well laid plans would be great. Didn't even need to play that, I don't think. The, the first slice. I should... I should play regen here. One, two, three, four. We're gonna take damage. But this guy, he's gonna live for a few turns. We should have played regen earlier. Oh my god! Luckily I played it last turn, because if I didn't we would be dead. Uh, could you stop attacking, please? I know you have a, a buff turn. One, two. Well, three, four, five. We'll play everything and hope that we have enough HP to live. Barely. God damn. I mean, what did I expect, really? Restart that one. Maybe uh, thickening up the deck too much is not great with 
high level ascension mode, but you know what? Silent, ascension level 17. Give me a random boss relic. Busted crown, oh lord. We're not gonna have many cards, but we do have four energy. How do I feel about this? I'll let you know if we live. You've never seen the Chosen do 31 damage? That might be because of Ascension 17. More challenging move sets and abilities, you know, more damage output. But also, it's, um, that's normal at this point in the game. So, Busted Crown. Scary. It's gonna be very difficult to build a deck, but we can always add in cards at shops. I slash hearts thinks it's one of the best relics. It's good. The problem with it early is that normally, normally when you get this relic, you've already filled uh, filled up your deck with cards. You know, we have not had that opportunity. We we do not have options. You know, we can't fill up the deck with cards right now. It's kind of horrible. Please attack. But maybe we'll get lucky cards. If we get lucky cards, this is easy. Admittedly, the problem with buying cards is that you don't want to. If you buy cards, they're never upgraded unless you have an egg, and what you want is you want to buy relics and card removal. So right now, I'm just kind of taking whatever's good. I'm just taking whatever's good because we need cards that are not strikes and defends. We do get extra value for the strikes and defends because of the fact that we have four energy, but we still want better cards. I, I'll even take a deflect. The next non-boss chest is now empty. Just, just, you know, one day. We can kill you. Or we can kill a fat gremlin. Yo, kill a fat gremlin. <laughs> Even at the expense of taking three damage, he's gotta go. Crown is the worst energy relic unless you take it in Act 3, basically. I don't think it's that bad. Put a block. But, you, you know, you can take it at the end of Act 1, sure. This is definitely like the worst case scenario time to take it, though, before you have any cards in your deck. So I'm kind of just hoping against all hope that we can add in enough good cards to kind of offset this. I'm gonna go uh, three elites. I'm gonna ignore the burning elite. We can't rest. Ah, uh, so screw it. <laughs> if we can't rest, let's go for the, uh, for the Burning Elite. Why not? Healing from Gren Gremlin Knob. That sucks. It's good, though, is that we have the Artifact Potion. We cannot be vulnerable if we so desire, and I think... He's not even doing his vulnerability on this turn. What are you doing, dude? He's weak, so I think it is worth playing the blocks. I guess because on Ascension 18, he opens up with vulnerability. On this Ascension level, he does not open up with the vulnerability, which I guess is nice. Not quite dead yet, but we only need two attacks. Well, now we need more. That was not that bad. That was not that bad. Give me the Noxious upgrade, then we'll go probably neutralize. Oh, thank you. Neo. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Look, Neo, he's always gonna be Neo to me. He's gonna be one little hump slash line away from Meow. Meow. Oh, 
I'm not gonna fight elites. Dagger spray neutralize. Bullet time, bu okay, I guess we got a bullet time. Do we want a dagger spray? We have crippling cloud and all out attack. I don't think we need a dagger spray. I don't think we need to neutralize either. Keep upgrading, I suppose. Bullet time being cheaper means we can draw into it, but that doesn't seem useful right now. We'll take Blade Dance instead. This will do 10 damage to all enemies. It's not enough to kill any of them, unfortunately. So instead, what we're going to do is... 4, 8, 5. going to take a little bit of damage. I'd rather not... So we'll do it like this. That's nasty damage coming out, so I don't mind using a potion to block. We overblocked a little bit, and it's still fine. Strongest relics? Really? Ring of the Snake? That's not one of the strongest relics. It's a fucking bag of prep, which is common. Give me the gold and I'll rest. Maga prep is kind of garbage tier, really. I mean, it's nice to have the extra... the extra draw, sure, but... a lot of the times you can find a way around that. What do we get from this? 10 damage? I'll save Ghost in a Jar. All right, we gotta do math here. Crippling Cloud is better later, but it's also more energy later. Right now, you have 82. I don't want to split yet. I don't want more slimes, but I'd rather wait for a stronger attacking turn. And next turn, he's gonna have lower HP just because of the poison anyways. This seems pretty sweet. 42 is pretty good. Hey, bullet time! Woo! Bullet time! Bullet time! Ow. That's a lot of damage. I know I don't need to neutralize him because he's gonna split anyways. I could have neutralized the acid slime on the right, but I wanna make sure he's at the lowest amount of HP possible. Ten, ten, twelve. You're not dead. Now you're dead. And you're splitting. This has been surprisingly a pretty good fight. We didn't even have to use any of the potions. We're not going to heal up to full, of course, but this has been surprisingly decent. These are so good for the future. I'm gonna keep them. Storm of Steel, not what we want. Runic Pyramid, that's that's kind of what I wanted. Yeah, Wrist Blade is nice. You can get extra value out of Blade Dance and Neutralize, but Runic Pyramid means we can save bullet time and then play bullet time and then play our entire hand of 10 cards. Ideally, it's probably not gonna work that well all the time, but maybe it would. Should have saved the neutralize even. You know, we don't get value out of the weakness on this turn. Might as well wait. You know, I <laughs> I wanted the damage. I knew the risks. I wouldn't buy a bag of prep. I would even rather remove a card. That's that's going too far. I would all, always go for a good relic over just removing a, a, a card. Unless it's like a really bad curse or something. But... Take none. We're gonna be weak next turn as well, but we do have bullet time. Ah, we just need to get a card out of our hand. Good fucking god. Ah. Ghost in a jar? If you're not dead, oh, I mean, we're still freaking weak. Mm. 
I'm gonna kill him next turn. Because now we're no longer weak. Give me that bullet time. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Probably a little bit of overkill to use the potion there, but I don't want to take... I don't want to take 20 damage and then have to heal in the future. I want to upgrade cards and get the deck a little bit more sorted. Really wish we had a potion. We do not, but it's not that bad. Noxious Fumes and Crippling Cloud work well against the birds. Specifically Crippling Cloud, thank you. Still taking 11 damage because two of them decided to do big attacks, but that's fine. We're gonna discard bullet time anyways, is it worth it? Yeah, probably. Let's make sure we take no damage on this turn. And you have to get hit for three? One, sweet. Dagger throw. I'm gonna skip. It's upgraded. And it's draw discard, so I'm gonna take it. But by the way, I have no idea. By the way, if we... Oh, by the way, <laughs> I have no idea how well this relic selection, this deck is gonna function. I've basically just been taking every card because I don't feel like I have much of a choice. We need to take cards. But we have basically no relics. We don't have like a, a synergy with the cards that we've taken. But the only thing that we have a synergy with is, oh hey, we can play bullet time. <laughs> when we play bullet time, we can play the rest of our cards usually. Or enough of them that we can generally take no damage. I mean, I'm glad we even had the opportunity to take a bullet time, to be honest with you. That wasn't a guarantee at all. That's a bad turn, but we're frail. This is an entertaining run on the fact alone that you started with Busted Crown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least we have poison. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna say. At least we have poison, they're slowly dying. So I'm probably gonna go for a heal. Probably should have attacked on that turn, really. But at least we, now we didn't discard bullet time, thanks to all that attack. Discarded the wrong card. I clicked on the wrong thing, but it doesn't matter. You're dead. Oh, crap! I'm sorry for being loud. I just... I... I just clicked. I, I just clicked through the... <sighs> Fuck. Why not? Upgrade a card. Give me a better deflection. I have a new card to remove, let's be... You know, to be fair, <laughs> now we have a better card to focus on removing. You could save. You mean I could have um, scum saved? I could have alt f forward and then reloaded? I didn't feel like doing that. But thank you for forgiving me. We have to take a footwork. We have to take souvenir. Nothing else is really worth adding in except for maybe like a dark shackles or a dash. I think I'm just gonna remove what is actually just a worthless card. An accidental addition and uh, Tactician's interesting, but we'll skip it for now. And hey, uh, by the way, there was the... Uh, what was it called? Blood Vial, we could have gotten the bites for free. Whatever. Defend, dodge, neutralize. Might as well put it out there. We're gonna take seven damage. This is what the bites are for, though. Ideally, we can get back up. Maybe not to full health, but we can get back the HP that we're losing by just playing some bites. Nom 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 nom. 
Aquata, thank you for the follow. Well, I think we'll be fine, believe it or not. I can't do 20 damage. The, the potion isn't gonna do 20 damage. It's gonna do 14 because he has six block. God, I hate snake plant. At least we healed a little bit from that, but I would have preferred to heal more. There we go. Deadly poison, nah. War paint. It would hit a defend and a bullet time. I'd rather take the key. Dude, these are really... I mean, Paper Crane is really good. Anchor was really good when we saw it earlier, too, but... Discovery. I'll take it. We're throwing everything else at the wall. Why not also throw a Discovery at it and see what happens? Should have gone to the campfire. <laughs> oh, crap. Um... Well... At least we're not taking any more damage. We lost artifact protection, but we at least knocked out the vulnerability, which is pretty sweet. Malaise counter snake plant. Yeah, well, if you haven't noticed, haven't been able to pick up a malaise. <laughs> I really, I mean, malaise is like a snap take, in my opinion. It's such a damn good card. I almost always add in a malaise whenever I can. I hate this. I'll play it, but I don't really want to play it. I kind of just want to bite and let the poison kill this guy. And if we need to play bullet time for killing, we'll play bullet time for the KO. But I'm kind of just like, let me bite forever? Two more and we're at full health, so that's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. You can get enough blocks, we'll bite, we'll bite. We'll keep our, our attack card here. We can make it through this combat just fine. Yoink! I don't think we need another dodge and roll. Admittedly, it's pretty good with footwork. If we upgrade footwork, it would be nine block twice. Ah, uh, because we have well lit, or uh, because we have Runic Pyramid, I'm gonna grab it. I will take five max HP. We can heal with biting. Dude, why give me more shops? Please stop giving me shops. <laughs> I do not need more shops, game. I want relics, but I can't buy them. I don't have any money. This sucks, by the way. This is a bad fight for us. We do not do damage that quickly. I think an adrenaline is amazing though. We will we'll play this. Doing 16 damage. We could take one or take zero. I'm gonna take one to hold on to the better block for next turn. Gotta kill these guys quickly. It's kind of waiting for a bullet time into a knock or a crippling cloud. Haven't been able to draw it though. Footwork, bite is a kill. 
19 damage. Dude, I still think you just go defend, defend. Take one, hold on to the better block. Corpse Explosion would be amazing if we could get it. This is bullet time. And we can still draw? If only I could draw. <laughs> If only we had the capability of drawing, it would be sweet, but unfortunately we don't. I will take four damage. You're dead. You're not dead. You are dead. Oh, thank God. 10 HP down is not that bad. With bites, I'm not even sure if we want to rest, to be honest with you. I feel like I should just upgrade something, like a footwork or a discovery. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go footwork for the decks, but discovery would also be a very interesting choice. I mean, I'm honestly, we have blocks in hand. We played footwork. It's not that bad. And again, I can still draw, which doesn't really do that much for me. But you know, thanks. Oh, it's pretty good. I kill you. If I can't kill you, I have to play the deflect. Unless I just want to take one. I'm okay taking one damage. The deflect is worth 10 block. I want to hold hold it for when it's blocking 10. All that attack is a good block here too, because it is a kill. So we'll dump the... How are we gonna play this? Two blocks gets us there, so... Honestly, just simplify. Can't play it. That was dumb. I, it wasn't dumb because I kept the deflect, which is what we needed to play, and we took a little bit of damage, but it's still a little weird. Discovery isn't that good. Outmaneuver is interesting for the extra energy. Because we can play it for free, I'll just play it now. Maybe we should have waited on Discovery and play it on a turn when we have cards in hand, but I felt like trying it out. Okay. Uh, taking zero damage, somehow. <laughs> Weird. Not worth playing the bullet time. Healed up to full. Oh, then we lost it. We could get a little bit more max HP. That'd be great. Don't discard. I was going to say bullet time, but then I realized maybe we actually want to discard bullet time. 8, 8, 14. Definitely gets us there. Let's need extra energy. We're probably not going to need it, but it also gets it out of my hand. And maybe we do need it with Dagger Throw. Yeah, play another bite, why not? He's got 20 poison, he's almost dead. I, I don't think I need to run the numbers, but I'm going to anyways, it's good practice. <laughs> They're doing 32 damage, I can get enough block by playing the deflect. We're gonna be at full health leaving this fight. That is crazy. I wouldn't have figured this would be a strong deck, and I don't think it is, but we have footwork. With artifact protection, it actually can be done. We have footwork. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't take it. It's so bad. I have never made Hovering Kite work, ever. I am willing to transform five defends, but we cannot take Hovering Kite. It's so bad. It is unbelievably bad. 
Backflip, Acrobatics, Corpse Explosion, Distraction, Slice. Honestly, not that bad. Corpse Explosion is pretty good. For crowds, anyways. This is like the second run. I was going to say we didn't get energy, but I guess we started with energy thanks to Busted Crown. <laughs> not the ideal energy choice, but it is energy. Um... Jesus, where the hell do we go from here? If we go left, we have to fight two elites. If we go right, we can skip them all. I guess we cowards path our way out of this run and we try to live. We need to upgrade bullet time now that we have a backflip and a uh, the other card, whatever it was called. In fact, we don't need to play bullet time on this turn. I actually would prefer I was going to say block, but draw also works. Actually, we could still draw with bullet time. We could have played that and then played backflip. But I kind of like this turn better, honestly. We are taking a little bit of damage, but we have three bites who can pop out with bullet time and wraith form. And we're even going to be able to prevent ourselves from being dex down. But we have to play it on this turn. Are we okay with that? Yes, because bullet time can kill the exploder on the next turn. Actually, we can just kill him on this turn. Why even bother? He's dead. We'll save Wraith Form for when we need to play it. Yeah, I've never been able to actually make Hovering Kite work. Ever. <laughs> I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's just the nature of Hovering Kite, but Hovering Kite... Did I say bullet time? I meant Hovering Kite. I've never been able to make Hovering Kite work. It's so weird. Kite is just bad. If you can fill your deck full of reflexes, it's not bad, but when is that actually going to happen, you know? Honestly, can't complain. We take three. Enemy's weak. Draw a card. We can't make him weak. Can play Riddle with Holes for damage. He is weak. Well, we could have drawn one card, I suppose. We're going to play everything. We're actually taking no damage. We're at full health. Surprising. You got Hovering Kite to work once. <laughs> once. I know this is going to prevent ourselves from losing the decks, but honestly, he's dead in two turns anyways. And look, we can still draw. You know, poison, intangibility... We don't need to wait too long to, to finish this guy off. There we go. Blur! Because we can hold it and play on an appropriate turn, I'm going to take it. We also got rid of a lot of defends, so I feel like it is worth... So nice. There's Noxious. Dude, two turns of Blur is actually kind of cool. It means we can kind of slow play it a little bit here. Sneaky Strike, Acrobatics, Dump Bite, Play Sneaky, Get Energy Back, <laughs> Dodge and Roll, Dodge and Roll, Bite, Bite, Neutralize, Slice. Weirdly, like a, a Panache would work pretty well in this deck, I think. This sucks. We're going to become Constricted, and we're not going to get Block next turn. No! How could you? And this guy still has like 60% of his HP. It's a lot of expensive cards. Do we bullet time? If we wreath, uh, I think you bullet time. Hold on to survivor for the next turn, but you get to play everything else, including wraith form. We're taking too much damage on this turn. We 
did draw bullet time again. <laughs> but I think actually we just want to like burst blur to hold block in the future. Because we can't gain block after this turn, so let's just do it like this. We'll do damage on the next turn. Well, I mean, I we can't not gain block, but we're getting worse because of the dexterity reduction. Anyways, we're taking no damage. Let's just hit him. Why not? Apply more poison. He's dead next turn. Full health? Full health. Catalyst pickup would be nice. I can dig it. I, I could dig a catalyst. We do kind of rely on just the very small poison from Noxious Fumes and Crippling Cloud right now. This turn sucks. I'm gonna play it because I have to kill these guys at some point. And yeah, I could wait, but let's just do it now so that they're low and they're easier to kill. I'm gonna play Terror on you so I can kill you. Sure. That's kind of bad, but these repulsors, we should never need to... I was going to say we should never need to attack them with anything that's not a bite, but now that the exploder is exploding, I'm realizing we actually do need to kill them, like, right now. So we are going to kill them now. And I think we do that with Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion Blade Dance is... It's only 18 damage, and we can't put any more damage on them. We might just want to corp... Corp Explosion Crippling Cloud also doesn't work. So now I'm thinking, how do we live? Footwork, blur, dodge and roll, blade dance, just to get it out of the hand, I suppose? I played all my attacks, so it's not like... I couldn't have killed this guy faster. Although if we held on the bullet time, we could probably kill them all with Corpse Explosion. We're going to take like 30 damage from him. Well, I guess you just uh, offset it as much as you can. We're only going to take 23. But now we basically have to rely on bites. We need bites. I don't really even want to play anything else. I'm, ba I'm basically like, can I wait for bites? But I also need to, you know, do damage at some point. There's a bite. Just so that we don't take any more damage, you know, we're not drawing blocks on this turn. Veridi, the reason why I didn't use the, um, the shivs on the enemy that was going to live is because I want to wait for the bites. There's a bite. I, I can do this all day, Exploders. One more bite, can we get one more bite, please? There's a bite. Just wanna heal up as much as we can. Uh, I'm not even gonna rest because I feel like I could get my HP back. I will start upgrading the cards that we've just added in. Corpse Explosion is a big one so that it'll kill the target enemy faster. Wraith Form for more intangibility is also very good. I'm gonna go Wraith Form for the extra turn. It might allow me to get through room combats easier with biting. We are gonna be debuffed unless we draw. Nah, I was gonna say maybe we could draw into our uh, I'd still like to play that. I'd still like to play that too, but let's get Corpse Explosion out there first. Uh, I was gonna say maybe we could draw into Wraith Form somehow, but that didn't happen, obviously. So 30 damage, good lord. Hate frailty. It's 
Sorry, I just heard something out of the corner of my ear. Dump all out attack. Put up block. We're gonna take 13. We're not dead, but I don't see us living on this fight because this fight requires you to go fast, and we do not go fast. I'm just gonna play it for damage. Uh, we do not go fast, so I feel like we're probably gonna lose, but I'm gonna give it my all here. Get the expensive cards out. You feel like Wraith Form is the worst form. Joni Act, I kind of agree with you because the other forms, they they don't make you worse over time. Wraith Form is the only one that makes you worse over time unless you have artifact protection. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna do it like this, and then play bullet time. I don't know why I saved the shiv. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but it's weird. Weird decision to make. I'm gonna take two damage on this turn. You know, maybe we actually are gonna live against this guy. He's not doing a lot of buffing. He's just doing a lot of attacking, which is ideal. I, I, I don't want this guy to buff himself. When he buffs himself, I get scared because he starts doing like 100 damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are gonna play Wraith Form now, though. And I'm not gonna play anything else because I want to draw Bites. Surprisingly, we haven't taken much damage overall on this fight. It hasn't been perfect, but it could have been worse. And I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the last Bite on the next turn. Okay, 27 HP. Regen Potion. Very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Why skip the shop? Save money for the next shop. Might as well bite. It's kind of like pseudo block for the future. Are we going to Regen Potion? I feel like I might be able to heal off of these guys if I'm lucky. I could also Corpse Explosion and try to kill them all. Should have attacked him. He was the one I could do physical damage to him, too, because this guy had block up. That was silly. Yo, thank you. Yo, thank you. Bullet time. We can still draw. I keep forgetting about that. It's not that important, but I still keep forgetting about it. Thank God. Save him. Don't need an acrobatics. Sneko Skull. It's interesting. Dude, we have to um, get the key at the campfire. Holy balls! What? Are we just dead? We have 48 H we have 40 HP. They're doing 26, 37. They're doing 45 HP of damage. We're dead. We died to repulsors. <laughs> 45 damage. Holy shit. I mean, pardon my language, but still, what the hell? That was the worst case scenario. <laughs> I can't put up that much block on turn one. I need to be able to play footworks and hold cards in hand and then burst them out. Good lord. Uh, that was insane. Both potions wouldn't have done it. Um, the thorns, who cares? It's not gonna, they're still gonna hurt me. Uh, that was stupid. That was incredibly dumb. 45 damage turn one, good lord. That's not the only enemy who does that, but the enemies that, that do that much damage they're like, uh, transient. Yeah, transient does 40 damage turn one. But you can punch him. 
you can punch him in order to uh, to reduce his damage output, but when you're just doing 45 damage with four enemies doing the damage, even if you kill one of them, you're still taking 30. That was horrible. Good try with the crown starting relic. I, I will admit we had no relics. We had good relics. Runic Pyramid, good. Energy, good. Artifact, good. Sneko Skull, good. Well, I mean, we only got this very late in the run, but we had like no relics. In fact, Naloth's hungry face stole a relic from us. Decent cards, for ma as a matter of fact, for having busted crowns, but no relics whatsoever to synergize with what we had. The only thing we had was energy and runic. Now, I'm so surprised that we could live past the second floor boss. We we did take damage, but we left the fight at full health. Which is crazy. But, uh, yeah, there you go. It took 30 damage against four shapes. And 45 against... Four shapes. Four shapes. Both times, they, they murdered me. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it.